Now we're down 180 and the Nasdaq's down 90 points. We're looking for the, the reason for this uh, rather sharp decline. Can't find a reason yet, but we are looking. I want to show you Bitcoin. The SEC has approved uh, a batch, I'm going to call it, a batch of spot Bitcoin ETFs. And the price of the, ET, uh, of the uh, Bitcoin gone straight up. Now you're at $48,000 per coin and rising as we speak. Gary Kaltbaum with us this morning. Now, I'm not sure where you stand on Bitcoin, but uh, this really, this ETF series really does open up the, new, the, the crypto market to a lot more investors. And the price looks like it's going up. What say you? Well, it is, but that's not a reason to buy any asset class. Uh, I, I don't understand the fact that because ETFs show up and I can get in it, the bottom line is there's still, still something called valuation. When I buy a stock, there's earnings, there's sales, there's a growth rate. To me, this is just an asset, and I hope it keeps going up for everybody. But to me, this is part of uh, the bubbles uh, that we've had over the last few years. 30,000-plus coins crypto coins they try to come out with are at zero, Stuart. Uh, a few are really strong. And look, again, I hope they go up because I know a lot of people are getting involved. But I'm, I'm thinking this could be a real good sell the news because the news is now already out. Uh, Gary, are you back in big tech yet? Uh, last Friday, I thought the lows were being put in. I bought Facebook last Friday. I think I'm up about 20 points. And on Monday, something happened I haven't seen in a very long time. Arguably, one of the most important stocks in tech, NVIDIA, uh, broke out of a six-month trading range. It couldn't get above $500 for six months. It finally did. I jumped all over at 503 and, and bought a little bit more after that. I think I'm up about 40 on that. So far, so good. And I bought Microsoft yesterday. It looks like that's going to break out of range. Uh, and if the market stays in here, I think that's going to be 400 plus in, uh, in the short term and hopefully more from there. So generally speaking, you're moving back into stocks in a bigger way than you were in a couple of months ago. Very selectively and leadership. I'm looking for the strongest stocks and the strongest group with the best earnings and the most consistent earnings and revenue growth. Those three fit the bill. And, and again, it's going to be all about the market. And one more thing. If the 10-year yield starts heading back to 4.5 or even higher 5, I think the, you know, the headwinds will come back and then there'll be trouble for most uh, uh, stocks. But uh, so far, so good. It seems like it's hanging around the 4% right now. Yes, it's right at 4%. All right, Gary Kalpam, good stuff. Thanks very much indeed. We'll see you again real soon.